right, let's check this out. Here we go, back at Silverback Shooting Range here. We're gonna do uh, some shooting for literacy. I'm gonna shoot some books today. No child left behind. That's right, see how many uh, books a 12 gauge shotgun with some slugs and a nine millimeter, possibly a 22 will penetrate. Got my friend Joey here today. How's it going? Gotta ask you, how many times have you ever shot guns? <laughs> I don't know, not a whole lot. <laughs> So we're going to be shooting out of this Mossberg uh, 12 gauge uh, down there. We got some new steel. That's from a Mercedes high top sprinter van. You know, usual targets, a couple pieces of some wood, and we'll go set up the books down there, and then we'll, we'll get things rolling. All right, so we set up some books down there. I got uh, five or six of them in a row. Um, sorry about the little shaky camera footage. But uh, we'll give it a shot, or two or three, maybe uh, 10 or 20. All right, so we're gonna shoot with this Walther CCP 9 mil, see if I can hit these books. <laughs> How many shots is that holding? Uh, that one only has five or six. Let me grab another clip. This one don't hold too many, it's a little short. You see it'll carry your pistol. I feel like that's louder than the shotgun. <laughs> it's a little loud, yeah. It's not a terrible little gun. Alright. Alright, now we're going to shoot some uh, slugs, Your slugs down there. Shot. Into those books. Let's see if he can hit them. I completely missed with all of those 9mm shots. Boom! I seen some movement. <laughs> oh, there they go. My goodness. Is that the buckshot or the slugs? Uh, it's mixed up. Mixed up with slugs. Ouch. That was okay. a slug. Yeah. You can tell by the sound of it, too. <laughs> it's got a little kick to it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that last one was right. too. Let's go see the carnage. <laughs> oh, okay. So I did get some nine through there. There's a couple of nine millimeter holes. Look at these slug holes, man. Look at that. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Oh. Reading is fun. <laughs> this is a library book. Yeah, the uh, Palatine Library closed. Oh. So. How, how did the library close? I don't know. That's how we got them. <laughs> Should be called instead of weight training for dummies, shooting for dummies. Here we go. I think I saw. <laughs> All right. Well, you can set them back up here. Sorry, Tim Russert. Good advertisement for you, though. <laughs> What's this one here? Back from the brink. <laughs> Well, once we're done with them, there'll be no brink to come back from. All right, well, let's give it a shot again. Here's the deer slug. Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? Nasty. It's hot. <laughs> All right, we got a couple slugs going through the door here. This is the Remington uh, 
double aught buckshot. Okay. With the nine slugs. Yeah, look at that. You had a buckshot go through there first and then the slug. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there was just a little outline on one of these. I was aiming for the wood that time. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it just passed right through the wood. Anyway. All right. And the shotgun we're shooting today is a Model 88 12 gauge Maverick by Mossberg. Don't know if you can see that, hope you can. It's a pretty beast of a gun. I'm not really a shotgun guy, I borrowed this from my brother-in-law, so just so we could have something to play with today, something a little different out here on the range. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some hip firing with some buckshot and see what I can hit. Two different rounds in here, a couple of slugs, some double lot, and uh, a couple other buckshots. And we'll see what happens. Uh oh, what's going on? There we go, I got it. Alright, gonna do some hip firing. That's a slug. That's the dirt. There's another slug. Oh, that's it. All done. <laughs> Just to show you what double lot buckshot looks like when it goes through a car door. <laughs> Some pretty, pretty damn big pellets in that shell. I definitely wouldn't want to get hit by that. Now, if you use that for home defense, I definitely think you're going to get rid of the intruder. That's for sure. All right, also today, this is my wife's gun, her uh, Walther CCP 9mm that we're shooting with. That's a good little gun. I'm not uh, liking it too much. The takedown is kind of hard. Cleaning is a little hard, but I mean, it's been a really reliable piece. And yeah, keep it clean, and it does okay. But uh, now we're going to get on to doing a little bit more shooting. I got a mixture of these three up in the shotgun now. Uh, and we'll go from there. Alright, now he's going to go ahead and shoot the 9mm, my SIG P320 down there. And he hits. This Call of Duty aim is any good. Oh, nobody's hitting the books. <laughs> Little rapid fire fun there for you. <laughs> That's it. All right, I'll go ahead and pop this one in and shoot the Walther. All right. Oh, in the dirt. <laughs> oh, you limp, you limp wristed it. What does that mean? Let's see your thumb. That's what happens when you put your thumb in the way of the slide. <laughs> All right, now that we got the gun working again. Go ahead and give it a shot. Make sure you keep it down. Hmm. For a second. Uh -oh. All right. Now we're gonna do some reading, 22 long rifle style. See what that got us. All right, let's go see how the 22 read these books. Oh, yeah, read them pretty good. Look at the back side. <laughs> it's a pretty accurate little gun. Uh, open up the pages and see if we can find anything. <laughs> I didn't make it all the way through this way. Here's a lot so of bullets right here. Yeah, oh yeah, look at there we go. There's one. Yeah. So it goes through uh, about two and a half books. Two and a half hardcover books. I mean, there's a difference between the hardcover and the yeah, there's soft like three cover. Or four bullets. Yeah. 
And I probably put about 10 of them into these books. Let's see if we can count on the front side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe about 10 or 15. <laughs> Can't even close this book now. <sighs> Reading is fun. Now you want to make sure all your guns are really good readers. None of them are illiterate. That way they're always on target. And everything will be okay. Alright, so we got some bird shot. And two more of these guys running through there now. Let's see what happens. Joey's really liking the shotgun. You gotta push that little... There you go. All right, let's go for it. I'll go to books. And it's really tearing up that stump. Yeah. That little raining sound. That little raining sound is definitely from all the buckshot flying off that stump. <laughs> So I was watching you hit the stump and then you could hear it all just raining down. <laughs> Alright, so we had a little bit of fun today with some shotguns, a 22 and a couple different 9mm. Uh, you know, literacy is a, a big test. Uh, make we sure that everybody learns how to read, you know. It'll <laughs> spark your imagination in ways you never thought of. It's always given me these ideas to do these wacky things. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Seriously, illiteracy is a, is a terrible thing, man. It's not anything really to be joked about, but, uh, you know, keep on trucking, man. We're going to stay out here and shoot a little while longer just having some fun, and uh, next time we see you, we'll see you. Have fun. <laughs>